Hey guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. In today's video, I have a bunch of fun lunch ideas to share with you, and this week, Rainbow Bread is back. But this time, I kinda cheated on the rainbow bread because I didn't actually make it myself. Now you guys, all of the lunches I'm sharing this week are super cute and colorful, but they're also really easy to make and don't take a lot of time. So, if you're looking for some fun lunch inspiration, stay tuned. Hey guys, and happy Monday. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this cheater rainbow bread. Now, over the years, I've made several different versions of rainbow bread at home. It's actually pretty easy to make, but it does take a lot of time and patience. Did you know that some bakeries will actually make rainbow bread for you? All you have to do is ask. At my local public store, I just filled out an order form and they had it ready for me the very next day. And then check it out, you guys. These came out really good. It's not the traditional rainbow colors and it did cost a little bit more than regular bread would. But if you want to experience rainbow bread without making it yourself, this is definitely a good option. So since today is a Monday, we're going to go ahead and do a meatless Monday. And of course, the star of today's lunch is going to be this beautiful rainbow bread. And I'm going to go ahead and just make these into some good old PB and J's but instead of just using regular jam I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and give this watermelon jam a try I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be good I got this at Trader Joe's recently and it sounds really interesting now it definitely smells good but I don't know if the kids are gonna like it definitely stay tuned because they're gonna let us know after lunch whether they liked it or not so as you can see I went ahead and cut the rainbow bread into little stars and don't worry you guys I always save the crusts when I make cutout sandwiches like this. And just as an FYI, I do have four kids, so usually I end up making four of these lunches, but I might not always show all four boxes because it's kind of hard to fit them all on camera. So now it's time to move on to the fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up some fresh kiwi. And then for our veggie, I'm just gonna throw in some little crinkle cut carrot sticks right on the other side. And then of course, to go along with the carrots, I'm also gonna add a little bit of ranch dressing in the center section, perfect for dipping. Now, so far, I'm not seeing a lot of protein in this lunch, so I think it's a perfect time to go ahead and throw in some edamame. All of my kids love edamame. And these days, I really like the kind that's already out of the shell so they're ready to go. These ones have already been steamed and they're lightly salted. And now you guys, to complete this rainbow bread lunch, I have another rainbow treat to add. This little guy right here is a rainbow Fruit Loop bar. For these, I just started by adding one cup of mini marshmallows to a microwave safe bowl. Then I added one tablespoon of butter and I melted these in the microwave and added it to one cup of Fruit Loop. Because a little bit of this treat goes a long way, I just decided to make a smaller batch. Now once this is all mixed together you could go ahead and press it into a pan but I like to roll them into little balls instead and as you can see I'm just adding a little bit in here because with these treats a little bit definitely goes a long way and there you have it guys okay girls what'd you think my favorite part was everything everything and Kenzie my favorite part was the fruit loop balls now what did you think of the watermelon jam could you tell it was watermelon it just tastes like regular jam to me. Next we have Griffin and Jackson. What did you guys think? It was really good. I see a lot of food missing, except for maybe this one. What was your favorite part, Griffin? My favorite part was a sandwich. Jackson? My favorite part was the sandwich and the Fruit Loop Bowl thingy. Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Now, today's lunch is going to be nut free. And you guys, this lunch is going to be a cross between rainbow, breakfast, and Mickey. Those are three of my favorite things. So to get started, I'm actually going to mix up a bunch of pancake batter. I'm just using this really simple kind where all you have to do is add water, but definitely if you want to, you can make your batter from scratch. Now you guys, I've made these Mickey waffles a lot before, but I've never made them a rainbow style. So this is gonna be a first, and I'm not exactly sure if they're going to work or not. As you can see, I've just taken a little bit of the batter to several different little squeeze bottles. I found these guys at Dollar General, and I'm thinking they're gonna make this process a lot easier. So now that I have the batter in the bottles, I'm just gonna mix up a red, yellow, green, and blue. 
And this part is important, you guys. I'm actually doing this while my waffle iron is not on. That way I have plenty of time to get all of my batter in here before it starts cooking. And now that I have all of the batter like I like it, I can go ahead and cook the waffle. And I really think the trick is to not overcook these, otherwise the colors get kind of dull. Okay guys, now this first one didn't turn out exactly like I had thought, so I'm gonna definitely give us another try. And check it out you guys, rainbow Mickey waffles. Now of course you can serve your waffles with any kind of topping that you like. Sometimes I'll add in some maple syrup, but today I'm just going to add in a little bit of strawberry jam on the side. So now that the main course is done, I'm going to move on to the fruit. And today I'm adding a combination of green grapes and strawberries. And then for the veggies, I'm also going to double it up here with a little bit of celery and carrots together. Of course to go along with them, I have a little container of ranch. And then keeping with our breakfast theme, I'm also going to be adding in some of this vanilla Greek yogurt. And then last but not least, I'm also going to go ahead and give the kids a little bag of these veggie chips. These are left over from Easter, so they're not too old, but I definitely want to use them up before they go back. Okay guys, so that's everything in today's lunch, but stay tuned because afterwards the kids will let you know whether they liked it or not. Hey guys, today is Thursday, and I know you're probably wondering, well, what happened to Wednesday's lunch? We ended up doing something really special for yesterday's lunch, and I'll go ahead and share more about that later, but for today, I decided to do something a little bit different for lunch. Instead of making each of my kids their own individual lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and make a big lunch platter. I'm just gonna start with this nice round cutting board, and on either side, I'm just going to place a little white containers, and those are gonna be placeholders for something I'm going to add towards the end. My goal here is to create a rainbow with lots of my kids' favorite lunch items. So first for the red color, I'm gonna be adding some turkey pepperoni. Hopefully I have enough of these. Next, to represent the orange color, I'm going to add in some carrot slices. And to make these extra cute, I went ahead and cut these into a flower shape. Okay guys, so yellow is next, and I thought it would be really good to add in some fresh chunks of pineapple. And you guys, I'm actually really pleased with these chunks of pineapple. Last time I bought a pineapple for some reason, the pineapple itself was more of a white color. It was not yellow at all. Now that brings us to the green color. I'm just gonna add some crinkle cut cucumber slices. And then for the blue color, I'm going to add in some good old blueberries. Now so far, this lunch tray is looking awesome. But there's just a couple more things I want to add. Over on this side, I'm going to be adding in some cubed up pieces of mozzarella cheese. Those work out perfectly because they're white, so it kind of looks like the cloud of the rainbow. And then on the other side, I'm going to be adding in some of this white cheddar popcorn. This is a lot like pirate booty, but this just happens to be the Trader Joe's brand. And then you guys, because often when I think about the end of the rainbow, I think of a pot of gold. I'm also going to sprinkle in just a few of these little Rolo candies. These are chocolate with caramel inside. They are super chewy, but I really think they're perfect for this lunch because they're gold. And now finally to complete this awesome looking lunch, I'm going to be adding in a little bottle of chocolate milk. This really doesn't have anything to do with rainbows. I just know the kids are going to love it because chocolate milk around here is definitely a once in a while treat that I know they're going to be excited to see. My favorite part was everything. My favorite part was everything. Stop copying me. My favorite was the blueberries and the pepperoni. My favorite was the cake, and pepperoni and chocolate. Hey guys, and happy Friday. For today's lunch, I'm bringing back the rainbow bread. But this loaf it looks a little bit different than the one I used on Monday, but it's still really pretty. And to fill these sandwiches, I'm gonna go with one of my kids' favorite combinations, which is a vegetable cream cheese and turkey. Now you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried this combination. It might sound weird, but it's actually really tasty, especially with vegetable cream cheese. That is our favorite. So now that our little sandwiches are done, 
I can move on to the rest of the lunchbox. And I'm going to do that in rainbow order. Now for the red color, I'm gonna be adding in some strawberries. And for the orange color, I'm gonna be adding in, you guessed it, some oranges. Over in this section, I'm gonna add in some corn. I know my son Jackson will be excited to see this. And then over here in this front section, I'm gonna be adding in some green grapes and some blueberries. And at this point, I'm actually gonna be skipping the purple color all together because I don't actually have anything purple at the moment. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the special treat, which are some mini rainbow donuts. Now, to make these, I actually started with a white cake mix. I just went ahead and mixed this up according to the directions on the box. And then just like when I was making the Mickey waffles earlier this week, I added the batter to some squeeze bottles and then I added some food coloring. To make these into mini donuts, I pulled out my little mini donut maker. This is pretty much like a waffle iron. It just makes donut shapes instead. And in each little section, I just added a little bit of each color of the cake batter. Check it out, you guys. These turned out so good. Now you definitely could add frosting or sprinkles on here, but I think these look so good as is. So I'm just gonna leave them plain, kind of like an old fashioned cake donut. And there you have it guys. This lunch was super easy and I just love the way it turned out. My favorite part was the sandwich and the colored donuts, but I didn't really like the lunch that much because it was sour. My favorite was the cake and the blueberry and the donuts. My favorite part was the sandwich, but I didn't finish my orange because I was too full. My favorite part was the orange, but I didn't really like the blueberries. Now, if you're still wondering about Wednesday's lunch, the kids and I actually did a fun 24-hour food challenge where for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, we only tried DIY Disney food. So if you'd like to check out that video to see what we had on Wednesday, I'll go ahead and link it right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for tomorrow's video where I'm going to share even more fun lunch ideas.